I'm going to show you an absolutely insane way to make money in New World. This one is not from investing. This one is from straight up just gathering materials and selling them as many hours a day as you want to work. Although you probably can flood the market eventually with enough hours, but maybe for some of them, we'll see. Now, in order to do this to the maximum, you are going to want a full set of gear that gives harvesting luck, including an amulet that gives harvesting luck, and a sickle which gives harvesting luck, which I actually did not even have equipped when I did this, and I still made insane money. You'll also want a mining set. Uh, oh, my my inventory got scrambled. A mining set is somewhere in here. Here's one of the pieces. Uh, mining gain 4.5% chance of finding around. Full set of that as well, and then you'll want to have the best luck food you can for harvesting, which I don't have a good one on here right now. I ate all the ones when I was recording it. I already recorded the part where I made the money, and now I'm recording the beginning. Finally, you will also have to be level 60, and you will have to have harvesting and mining at least 175. 200 is nice and all, and it would help, but 175 is the minimum requirement in order to run this route. Okay, so the route is in Reekwater. We are going to be farming Tarragon, if you are familiar with Tarragon. It's an extremely expensive herb, at least right when I made this video it was, because nobody knew of a farming spot like this. And we also are going to be farming a crazy wire fiber spot and some orichalcum veins, as well as some hemp. So it's by Lush Wild, it's by the fort in Reekwater. Okay, we're going to start at the end of the road. There's uh, a cyan pigment that you'll pick up and some herbs. And then you'll follow like where my mouse is. You'll run down through here, get more herbs. Then there's more herbs up here. And then you cut back and there's more herbs below this rock, herbs by this pond, herbs above where this corruption portal is. And then you're done with this part and you rotate up towards the fast travel. There's a salamander slime on the way you can grab just for some extra money if you want, it's not too important. Then up by this fast travel, time's advantage, there's an insane amount of wire fiber, which is why you wanna have the harvesting luck food eaten and harvesting luck gear on, which also should increase your chances to find tarragon as well. You're gonna pick up all the wire fiber by time's advantage. Then you're gonna cut back by this rock and mine iron ore, more wire fiber, more iron ore, and then you're going to head down to these small rocks. These small rocks should, if no one else is competing with you, have orichalcum veins on them. Those have, this one has two, this one has two, and down here there's another two. Then you're gonna cut across this field and you're going to farm hemp and then more herbs and then more hemp then more herbs, then an orichalcum if it's there, then more herbs again, and then finally you're going to cut back across to the beginning where you will uh, start the route all over again. This route takes right around 13 to 16 minutes, which is perfect because all resources in New World spawn between respawn between 7 and 15 minutes. Every time that you pick up a resource, if you go to an herb cluster and you you could pick up 10 herbs, every one of those herbs as soon as you pick as soon as you gar uh, gather it, it sets a random timer between 7 and 15 minutes for it to come back. So uh, if this route takes 15 minutes, that's actually perfect because then by the time you get back, the first set of herbs, 100% you know, of them have respawned no matter what, and you go ahead and grab them all again and repeat the cycle. Now I'm going to show you a sped up version of doing this loop, and I did this for one hour. I'm going to show you one cycle at like 15 times speed. It should take like one minute or something so you can see it. And then afterwards, I'm going to go through with you what all I found doing this and what it all added up to and how much I made and, and what how it all went, okay? So let's go ahead and skip ahead to me running this route so you can see how this goes. <laughs> Okay, let's look at the tally, see what we found. So, in one hour, I found a flawed alchemy marine. But anyway, I found 921 iron ore, 346 orichalcum ore, which would have been 
closer to a thousand, except there was some guy who was like just camping the spawns the entire hour I was doing it, which is unfortunate because I might have also found Tolvim or Cinnabar, which would increase the dollar per hour on this by like another 5,000 or something. But anyway, uh, coin per hour. Uh, 50 iron hide, 17 raw hide. I'm not even going to count these. Like, it's like nothing. And then I got 873 fibers, 2,120 uh, wire fiber, 24 scale cloth, 19 shade cloth, 8 blister weave, garbage, 1,462 hyssop, basically 50 shell bed cap, 49. I found a salamander slime and 77 fire motes, as well as 14 cyan pigment. And I think that was, oh no, it wasn't everything. No, we got cooking. That's right. I forgot this stuff. We got 68 sage, 54 tarragon, 62 thyme, 53 ginger, 28 mushrooms, and 23 nuts, which maybe the nuts I can sell, but the mushrooms are probably almost worthless. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at some of this. So on my server, it's going to be way different than your server, or maybe not. Some servers will be like this. Shade cloth is worth an insane amount on this server. Like absolute, not shade cloth, uh, scale cloth. Scale cloth is worth uh, 700. It's been like this for about 10 days straight now. So I'm just going to assume that I can sell it for 500. I actually want to keep it, but I'm going to assume that I can sell it for 500 and actually move it all. Unless I had, you know, unless I do this long enough when I have like 500 to sell, then I don't know. I might run the price down to like 300, but a good uh, bottom number, no matter what, would probably be like 200 because it's used to make uh, not runic leather, but ru whatever the, the ultimate cloth one is. Is it runic cloth? I don't, I don't know what it's called. A uh, phoenix weave, I think it might be called phoenix cloth, something like that. And then uh, blister weaves 200 a piece, uh, and it could potentially be more at some points, or maybe it'll go down. So that's a rough estimate for that one. On my server, iron ore is worth 0.32, and ore calcum ore is worth uh, 0.5 a piece. Now the crazy ones, tarragon. Tarragon on my server is worth, well, over 100 gold. And sage on my server is worth basically 15 to 20. And then uh, the other one's not so good, ginger two a piece and time about a dollar fifty so that's all those ones uh, what else was there again i already forgot wire fiber fibers shade cloth okay so uh hyssop's kind of garbage here which should be everywhere point one is actually pretty high right now and then we have shade cloth which is worthless you know i mean i get a little bit there but i might not even count it fibers worth point three on my server and wire fiber is worth basically 0.2 to 0.3 maybe a little bit more sometimes uh, i think that was was that everything uh no the nuts and the mushrooms we'll take a quick glance at fire modes are about 0.9 a piece or so i'm gonna ignore all these other ones because i found so little and they're only worth like up to five a piece max so uh mushrooms i think are worthless oh no i could get a teeny bit for those and then nuts just nut uh coin a piece so we're looking at another 25 and 15 there or something. All right, so let me go ahead and put this all on, on a text editor and we will add it all up and see what the total value is. All right, so here are the final numbers. This is how much stuff I gathered in one hour of running that loop. Now I had full luck on, I had uh, the second best uh, harvesting luck item on and uh, that's about it. But I got 921 iron ore, 346 ore calcum ore, 873 fibers, 2,120 wire fiber, 24 shade cloth, 8 blister weave, 19 shade cloth, 1,462 hyssop, 49 shell bed cap, 77 fire moat, 14 cyan pigment, 68 sage, 54 tarragon, 62 thyme, 53 ginger, 28 mushrooms, and 23 nuts. Now I have the prices listed about approximately how much I can get rid, get rid of these for on my server. I may be able to get a little bit more. I may be able to get a little bit less for most of these. I actually tried to lowball on most of these. So chances are I can get this or more for the majority of these. So, uh, you know, so this sold for 276. I just sells for 276. Sells for 173, so on and so forth. The biggest takeaways here was were that uh, the more those legendary mats that you find on the wire fiber or on the aura calcum, the more money you make, obviously. Uh, but that was a, the bulk of the money. But the great thing about this route is the backbone of it is something that you will get very consistently, which is the tarragon. You're basically assuming tarragon is this expensive on your server. You are guaranteed 5,000 coins per hour from the tarragon alone. Now, if it's going to be less, like if it sells for 50 or 20, it still gives you a great backbone. Like still like 2,000 coins, 3,000 coins an hour. And you have to remember, 
that if you are on a server with a smaller economy, all this stuff will sell for less, but also you don't need as much money because you can buy everything for less. Like on my, my server, the gold inflation is insane. So yeah, I get more money per my sales, but also I don't need as much money. So, you're, so relative to net worth of the economy, you're going to make the same insane amount of money as on mine relative to how much you need. Now, all this, I added it up and the total amount per hour was approximately 19,192.9. So basically 20,000 coins per hour, plus or minus like two, 3,000 coins, depending on prices and all that. So all in all, this route was an absolutely insane way to make coins by just farming. No, no buying and selling, no investing, no manipulating the economy, no looking for opportunities. Just go out with a sickle and some luck and just brain dead, hold W, left click and E. Like that's all you got to do. And it's, it's so simple. This is literally like <laughs> the gatherer's ultimate way to make money. This is this insane gathering farm. Unbelievable. Now, you want to take advantage of this while you can because the more people that find out about this perfect route that I found, uh, the less and less you'll make because you'll go there and there'll be like five other people trying to do the same thing that you're trying to do. So uh, you definitely want to jump on this while you can. If you can ever get to that spot when there's no one there, you'll make an insane absurd amount of money. Uh, it's definitely one of the best, if not the best, gathering route in this entire game. At least right the second when I made this video. Now, your mount's going to vary hour over hour because a big part of this is the shade cloth and blister weave and the toll VM and cinnabar, which I didn't get a chance to get because there was some guy who was camping those spawns when I did it. Uh, but on average, you'll probably get something between 15 and 25,000. Uh, I may have had a slightly lucky cycle. Or it may have just been average, or maybe you know it could be better. And I didn't even have all the luck. I didn't have any luck trophies. Make sure you have those luck trophies, because maybe it'd be even better on average. So, uh, if you have a bad hour, don't fret about it. Just keep going. You might have an hour where you find none. You might have an hour where you get twice as much as I found. You know, like it's totally possible. It just rolls with the dice. But there you have it. There's how to make twenty thousand coins per hour actually working on this game, not just scamming people and stealing money from the economy. How to make generate twenty thousand coins per hour of materials of net worth of materials. Sell them and get rich by just gathering in New World.